this shit is hard. It ain't supposed to be easy. Today, I woke up at four. And I usually, I have an alarm set for five and I always wake up at five. Uh, but man, honestly, like <laughs> past couple of weeks, like all April, I think, I think today's the 18th, all April, like I've been really, <laughs> to be honest with you, struggling to sleep. Uh, it's not the struggling to sleep. It's more of the waking up super early, like tripping about something. And today that happened again. I woke up at four o'clock, went to the bathroom, and then I had to go through that decision of like, should I go back to bed for an hour or should I wake up? And I just was like, fuck it, wake up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's just a lot of stuff goes through my, my head of wanting to do more wanting to be better never really being satisfied and it's like it sounds sexy and cool when you're like never satisfied like always strive for more but it's like no it's not it's fucked up and horrible and to be honest with you it's it's a fucking curse to be a high performer is a curse not a blessing it's a blessing and a curse <laughs> uh, when you see somebody who's like an entrepreneur and they're like successful don't look at them with content or, oh, they got so lucky. Like, that's not true. Uh, there is luck involved, but that's not how it goes. Like, we look at people who have all this glory, you know, like celebrities, athletes, entrepreneurs, whoever. And we look at them as such a higher status and we just look at the glory. And it's, it's really, really hard for regular people to truly understand. Like, it's so hard to truly understand what that person had to do, had to go through. Like Stephen Curry, I love Stephen Curry as an example because he looks like such a, I mean, he is. He looks like a good-hearted person and I, I, he is a good-hearted person. You know, he's got a great smile and he seems, he kind of has the baby face and whatever and he's more of like a chill, soft-spoken guy. And so it's really hard to like, it's hard to, to, to know what kind of struggle he's been through and like the dark times and the depths of what he goes through mentally. But like, dude, that guy for show has demons, bro. Like you are like Steph Curry, bro. Four time champion, two time MVP. First time ever being a unanimous MVP, right? Three point, uh, freaking record broken, whatever. That guy's got fucking demons, bro. <laughs> that guy's got fucking demons and he, he's got them. Um, and so it, it, I, I, I think that it's important to understand that if you have these demons, it's not, it's normal to have them if you're a high performer. And the thing that, the, the reason I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna talk about it here on this video, obviously, but the reason I don't just go talking about it to every single person and the reason I don't want to share that with everyone is because you know what a lot of people say? You can't be so hard on yourself. You know, you got to get your rest and don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing great. And it's, it's not their fault, but it's just a lack of understanding. And honestly, like this is going to sound crazy, but like right now for me personally, what's helping me even get through this is my wife. I honestly like don't know where I'd be without her right now. Like real, real shit. I don't know. I really don't know. Because when I look at my entire life, like there are so many things to be grateful for, but it's really hard to be grateful. And it, it, it's just hard. It's hard when you're fucking an elite performer. But when I like look at my wife, she's a f literal physical manifestation for me of what is love and compassion and happiness. It's hard for me not to be grateful when I look at her. When I look at her, I'm just like, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to have her. She's literally the reason that I'm like, okay. If she was not here, I would not be okay. I'd be like, Pfft. I'd be honestly super fucking down right now. I'd be really, really struggling. And I'm already really struggling, but she is literally the reason because at five o'clock or six o'clock when she gets home, you know, when she gets home and I can just turn off the computer and be with her, it's so fucking nice to go on a walk, even... <laughs> clean do the dishes whatever it is eat dinner it's so nice it's so nice to have her because if I didn't I'd be I don't know so I want you to know that if you're going through a tough time and if you're having trouble 
you know, if you have a partner, lean, kind of lean, not lean on them, but like look at them as like a source of gratitude. And if you don't have a partner and if you're single and you're going through a tough time, I, I, I heard this from my mentor, Austin Medlin, just when in doubt, zoom out, right? You had a tough day, zoom out. How was your week? You had a tough week. Okay, zoom out. It was the last two weeks. Zoom out one month. Zoom out three months. Zoom out six months. Zoom out a year. Zoom out to your entire life. Like just continue to zoom out until you realize how great life really is.